been reacting to all kinds of videos, okay? I've been reacting to drama. I've been reacting to music videos. I've been reacting to pranks. I want to do something different today. And we're going to go deep this time. There's a man by the name of Trent Shelton. He became big, I believe, uh, in, on Facebook at first. He's a motivational speaker. The words he preaches is like phenomenal. I believe everyone should be watching him if you wanna be positive and look at life in a different way, a different perspective. I think he's the man to turn to. This video that he came out with is called You Will Die in capital letters. I don't know what he means by that. It of course means something deep other than you will die, like you gonna die today. No, that I'm pretty sure that's not what he means. This obviously has to deal with some form of death and maybe how we see death, I don't know. I feel like we have to challenge our brains a little bit and do some deep thinking. I'm gonna actually watch this video and see what he has to say about it. Hey Tris, I wanted to bring you here to the cemetery because you know I came here once and it changed my life. It made me realize that we're all gonna be here. Like this is a fact. Mm. Everybody lives and everybody dies. And I don't want that to make you afraid. Mm. I don't want that to motivate you. Les Brown says it best. The richest place in the world, look around. It's here. You know why? There's so many dreams that were never lived. Mm. So many songs that were never sung. So mm. many ideas that were left inside. I don't want to get to this place full of incompletions. Incomplete dreams. Incomplete visions. Not living the life that I wanted to live. Mm. You know the number one regret people have when they're about to die? They wish they would have lived the life Full of going for it. They regret that they live for other people's opinions. Mm. I don't even want to stop this video, but I have to. I mean, I, I have to for my commentary. I understand that's what this channel is about. I'm going to be 35 this year. When I was younger, as a teenager and in my early 20s, I truly believed in planning your life out. If you don't plan it, it's not going to go the way you want it. So I thought. And now that I'm gonna be 35, I realized it's never gonna turn out the way you plan it. It just never will be. You picture your life to be a certain way. And we try so hard to make that picture a reality. We can get close to it, but it's never gonna turn out the way we imagine it in our heads. It just, it just never works that way. This is never what it is. Why plan so much? You get what I'm saying? It's okay to plan here and there, have some goals and try and, and try to reach them. But my dreams and my ambitions and my goals are different at the age of 30 than what it was in the age of 20. I, I don't live my life with regret, but there are some things I would have done differently instead of clubbing so damn much because I partied my ass off in my 20s. I had good times. I had many stories to tell. It was fun while it lasted. But then I realized I missed out on the world. I wish in my 20s, I did much more traveling. When I went to Italy this past year with my wife, it opened up my eyes to something that I've never imagined. So all these pictures that I had in my head for the future, when I went to Italy, that wasn't it. But when I went to Italy, it opened up my eyes to the world like, wow, this is what I've been missing out on. And ever since then, I promised myself that I will travel to at least one place once a year. I'm gonna make it happen. It's never too late. They regret that they lived in fear. I don't want you to live a life full of, I wish I would have. I want you to live a life, man, I tried, I did, I failed, I accomplished. Because once you get here, it's over. Mm. You only get one life. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. 
Like just imagine if I get people live their lives like they're gonna die at age a hundred. We don't know that. We don't know what our destiny is. It can be tomorrow. It could have been yesterday. We don't know that. So live to the fullest. Any heartbreak, any suffering that you're going through, any struggle, you have to let it pass. It was a test. It was a challenge that God has given you. And you have to overcome because that's what's going to make you stronger as a person. And it's going to prepare you to what you're about to face later. Good or bad. We can't live life in fear. It's normal to have fear, but to live in fear is totally different. If you don't do things that you're scared of and you remain in your comfort, in your box, you're never gonna experience life to its fulfillment. You're just never going to. I you $86 every single day. And I said, you have to spend it, you couldn't take the $86 into tomorrow, what would you do with that money? Mm. You would spend it, right? Well, it's the same with time. Time is the greatest luxury because no matter how rich you are, you can't buy time. Can't. Once time is gone, you can't get it back. Can't. This is the last time we will see today. Mm. There's 86,000 seconds in a day. Mm. And that's another thing when it comes to finances. We worry all the time about our bills, about things we gotta pay off, and we worry about how are we gonna make this amount of money in this amount of time, not realizing that time is passing us by. I used to be very careful with money. I budget, I try to be as safe as I can. But being suicidal made me realize when I die, I'm not taking this money with me. So why not live the way you want to live your life now before it's too late? Whatever it takes. If you want to go somewhere, fucking go. The money will come later. Spend what you have now. It, you can always get it back. Money's replaceable. But your life, your life is not and you have one life to live. And most people, they waste it. Mm. The average life is 26,000 days. That's 71 years old. I'm 35. That means I'm halfway there. Mm. Don't say that. <laughs> that scares me. <laughs> I'm halfway there too, I guess. There's going to come a time when I'm not here anymore. Mm. And I say, you know what? I'm going to make sure that when I do come to this place, I'm going to die empty. Don't come to this place with greatness left inside of you. Mm, preach it. You're legendary, son. That's what I've been saying. I want to leave this world with some form of legacy. With this YouTube channel, mental health is so important. And I show it in these videos. I'm very open with my depression, with my anxiety, and with my suicidal thoughts. I know that I'm reaching some people. In the comments below, I see you guys commenting your experiences, your life, and I'm just, it, it makes me proud in some way that I'm doing something for somebody. And that makes me feel good. So I may not, I may only have almost 1,000 subscribers. I'm still trying to reach there. But I want to reach more. I want to reach more people and I need you guys to help me. So please share this channel because I want to leave the legacy of me helping people, helping others, helping strangers that I've never seen, never heard of, never heard from. I just feel like that that is my calling and that is my purpose and I'm trying. That is my life goal. But it's time for you to give that to the world. Mm. Regret is one of the strongest things in the world. You know why? Because you can't change it. You're 11 years old right now. You might be thinking, Dad, I'm only 11. I got time. I'm going to tell you something a wise man once told me. You're not old or young because of your birthday. You're old or young because of your death date. There's an 11 year old that has one month left to mm. live. Yes. And there's a 50 year old that has 40 years left to live. Yes. We never know 
when that year is going to be our last year. What matters is what you do between the dash. Mm. You're going to live a long life. But I want to make sure that you make every single day count. Heroes get remembered. But legends never die. Ain't Don't that a fact? Day. Ain't that Don't a fact? Don't be afraid of coming here because we all got to come here. Yep. Be afraid of not truly living your life. I love you. Make the world respect your greatness. Mm. All right? Let's get it. You love know. You. You know, this is why I like this man. His segments are called Rehab Time. I'm gonna pause it right there. Look at his social media. That's his Snapchat, his Instagram, and his YouTube channel. I want all of you guys to go ahead and subscribe, follow, and do anything that you can to support this man because he is doing his calling, he is doing his purpose. All right, tell me what you thought about this type of video. I am planning on doing this some more um, during the month of mental health awareness, and I believe that month is in May. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Most importantly, you guys, share my channel because I'm trying to grow and I'm trying to reach as many people as possible. All right, you guys, see you in the next video. Peace.